Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019. We are continuing our season as Salford City, and uh, I don't know, mixed results over the last couple of away games. Uh, we got a win here against Dagon Red, and then we got a loss here against uh, Filed Filled. I'm sure how you say that, but um, a couple of the shots that they made were just insanely long distance shots, like, you know, uh, way outside of the box, and I don't know. I, I think they got a little bit, little bit lucky on getting a couple of those shots. So I think the game should have been a little closer than it was. But it is okay. We'll uh, still got a lot of season left to go, and overall, getting um, three points over the last two games, not not the worst thing in the world. I would have rather this one obviously be a draw, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see if we can pull it back together against Maidstone here. Although I will say Maidstone is you know number three on the the rankings right now so but we're, we're not we're not far off i mean we get a win against maidstone we actually have tied as far as points so uh, point wise we're, we're not out of it yet even though we are currently out of the playoff contention still a lot of season left to go so let's see what we can do um wasteful amies yeah i guess so tuesday's right matchups nothing going on there Got us a couple, uh, I think we got us at least one more uh, youngster that we pulled into the team. Uh, I don't know if he actually counts as an under-18. I think he might have been like 20-year-old or something like that. But he was a pretty young guy. that We went ahead and pulled in for a very young uh, salary. That uh, He was uh, actually a, a um, defensive uh, right fielder, I believe. So hopefully that will uh, give us a little bit more depth there and uh, really help us to, uh, I don't know, push forward the rest of the season and not, not let our guys get too tired. All right, post-match analysis, you know, obviously uh, Danny Lloyd here got some good points. Ibu Ture, actually, honestly, the the last game before this, uh, he played very well. So, you know, he had an off game, not the end of the world. All righty. George McClendon at left back is a useful option who can be improved upon. And this is a good, good team we're going to be facing, so... Hopefully our best guys are, are well rested and ready to go. We dropped out of ninth now after some more games got played. Focusing on defending this week, so that's good to see. Especially again against the third ranked team. Most vulnerable to face in the 4-4-2. Well, we could switch to our 4-4-2 maybe. Devante Rodney. Pulled a groin out for six days to two weeks. Oof. Yeah, we'll leave him to the physio. He's just kind of a backup uh, striker that we have. We are not going to need him for this next game. I'd rather him get well, just in case we do need him for later in the season. We did get a terrible hit against Jack uh, Redshaw, and uh, he uh, he's actually out for like 10 months or something crazy like that. Let's go look at the uh, medical center. Yep, 7 to 10 months. Crazy, crazy. Like hurt his knee or leg or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. All right, uh, Maynard currently and Scott Wiseman are both currently off playing with their respective uh, countries, so we do not have them at the moment. Uh, team instructions to add, get stuck in. Uh, I mean, it could get us a lot of fouls, but, you know, could unsettle these guys, like it says. Congratulate Maynard, that for sure. You have a good counter show. should be very proud of your accomplishments. Get some morale there. Okay. And then it came right back down again. Oh, well. Uh, I'm just going to hand that over to the coach. That's fine. Pretty good training for Mafuda here. Go ahead and criticize Danny. Actually, I think this is the last second time we've had to criticize him recently. Hopefully he pulls it back around. Danny, Dan, and Danny. All three are our worst training people. That's kind of peculiar. International Roundup. Um, okay, that's fine. Fitness tests. Fitness not required. All right, team selection. Here we go. We're both inconsistent, so that's something. I actually wonder if we should just slow it back down a little bit. Kind of go with this 4-4-2. Get a little bit 
less intensity. Kind of just pull it back a little bit and see if we can do something here. That, you know what? We're going to try it, I think. Play more of a cautious mentality. Maybe it's a mistake to be trying to switch it up, you know, this late in the, in the, in the setup. But we're pretty good familiarity with this uh, with this one as well. So I think I think it might be an interesting take on things. Um, obviously, our two guys here are traveling. That's... Oh, I didn't see Torre got put out. I, I, was, I was not paying attention to that. I saw Wiseman, of course. I knew he was out. Interesting. So, well, we have for, instead of Wiseman, we'll bring in Joe Lindley. Lindley is actually the guy we picked up uh, recently. Uh, I mean, he's decent, but he's very, very raw. He can actually play right, left, or center. That is really cool to see. I think we're going to play Hog Hogan over here. Bring Pond in, and then we'll bring in Carl here in the middle. And as far as the left side, got Blackshaw here. Okay, sharpness. I mean, he's going to be okay. We haven't been playing with wingers, so that's not what I wanted. Um, so it's going to be a little bit interesting to be pulling some wingers in instead. Bring Danny Lloyd in. I guess that will work. And then we'll leave... Looks like Mafuda would play... It would be pretty cool over here. And we'll put Mafuda over here. Because it looks like he'll play this position a little bit better. Alright, so Mafuda, Lloyd, cool. And then over here, we're in Tom. Next to position he's a little bit more uh, comfortable with. And then we'll play uh, Rooney and Gaffney up front. We'll try this. I mean, obviously, if we need to, we can swap over to a... Uh, back to our diamond formation. Because uh, a lot of these guys can swap around. And we'll be fine with that if we wanted to go that route. Alright, so we got a backup goalie. Um... Let's grab us another central defender. Probably James Jones over here. And then anybody here that can play? Let's play Collins. Bring him in just in case we need somebody on that, you know, one of the wings or whatever. We'll bring another midfielder though to come in. Houghton. Looks like he's already there. That's fine. And then another striker to help play up front. It's obviously not Jack Redshaw. Um, actually, most of the striker alternatives are already here. We'll bring in Danny Whitehead as an option. At number five. Cool. I think that'll work. Um, again, we haven't played this position, this this formation so far this year, but kind of like I said, I wanted to slow things down a little bit uh, against this, you know, potentially better team. They're actually almost playing the diamond that we usually play, but a little bit, a little bit different, you know, take on it. I mean, not, that's not exactly the diamond, obviously, because normally we play the guy here in the middle with two strikers. They have two wingers and, uh, and one striker, so some similarities, but not, not quite there. All right. Come on, guys. Um, very capable of winning. At least got somebody relaxed. All right, it looks like it's raining, so that's going to be an interesting to play in. We are here in the red kits. Mafuda. Drop it back to Mafuda. And that was the end of that highlight. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. A little bit of a tackle there. Nothing come of it, but it was a pretty cool looking tackle. Come on, guys. Let's get the ball back. I don't like highlights when they're on their side. We are playing a, like I said, a cautious mentality, which... Uh, if you played uh, 18 at all, uh, it was more of a counter mentality. So we're going to be playing a little bit more defensive minded and we're hoping to get some space behind them uh, for our, you know, quick strikers to get in there and uh, do something with. That uh, looked a little weird. Seems like the graphic didn't line up with the, the header there. Pal over here going to order Jones. They got their Jones. I guess we got our own Jones. Carl there in the middle getting the... Head on it, Rudy. He's going to get it over to Cool. Over to Walker. He's going to get it all the way across over to Lloyd. He's going to pull it up the side here. He's going to do with it. He's going to take it all the way with himself. I mean, he was on target. Just, you know, obviously the goalkeeper was in the way. Gets away with a warning. Well, that's good. We do not want any more yellow cards here. Whew. Man, the curve they can put on this ball this season is pretty crazy. Sometimes I see those go around the wall. 
Uh, encourage our players to try and play a short game. Uh, you know what? We'll make the change. We'll see. If they're doing the anal analysis and deciding that, you know, there's some opening there if we go to short game, we'll, we'll follow through with that. Come on, guys. Get on them. Really? Like, he was just kind of sitting there. Like, nobody was getting in the way or anything. That is not good to see. I do not want to see that again. <laughs> Drops us down to ninth position. We're really not getting good possession. I mean, I guess we're close to 50-50, so never mind. I mean, it's not getting the shots that we normally have with our attacking mentality. Come on, guys. Clear that out. Get out of there. There we go. Not getting any highlights for us at all. Wow. Um, I was looking at the right team. I was like, why is Powell so tired? That's their guys. I mean, they're their guys are quite a bit more tired than we are. Ollie Muldoon is controlling the game today. He needs to be closed down. He is their left midfielder. All right, we'll close him down a little bit more. See if that helps at all. He does have a goal already, so that's saying something. Let's throw in here for Gaffney. He's going to get into Rooney. He's going to get back over to Gaffney. All the way across the field to nobody. Although Walker's there. Able to collect it, but didn't, didn't, wasn't able to do anything with it. Not much life in the boys today. Muldoon's going to get a good kick here. Uh, he can, Hogan has been booked. Yes, I definitely don't want him getting another card. Oh, that was a good, pretty good tackle there for a second, but we weren't able to get the recovery there. Now they're going to get all the way over to their guy on the left side. We're going to be able to do anything. Nope, he's going to get a header on it. Get it right inside there. Man. Come on, guys. I'm even playing more defensive, and they're still doing better than we are. Maybe we're just not putting enough pressure on them, wearing them down enough. Uh-oh. Pulled knee ligament. That is no good. Oh, we're almost at halftime. I'm going to let you play it for just a second. See what happens. Come on. Let's get through the halftime. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Guys are not doing good at all. Do you even want to win this match? I agree. Um, can we do subs here? Was it actually an knee injury? Potential knee injury. Let's see. Can I not sub somebody out here in the middle? That's not what I want. I want. Okay, I guess not. I've never tried subbing it here. I mean, obviously I can sub now, but it seems weird that I couldn't send somebody out different from him right away. All right, pull out Danny Lloyd, bring in Lewis Collins. It's going to be fine. Get us some life in the midfield here. Come on, guys. We need to see something from you. Another injury. We are not doing well. Man, what is going on, guys? Um, I guess we'll bring in Whitehead. We may be lucky just to survive this game at this point. Jamar Loza. You know what? Actually, uh, last year, or when I was playing this game offline with um, with Salford City, I actually picked up this guy as one of my strikers. Him and Jack Redshaw were my two strikers, and they did really, really well. So, yeah, it does not surprise me that he's, uh, he's in here. Uh, he doesn't actually have a lot of goals. He hasn't actually been doing very well for them, but, yeah, he, was, he did real for us. I was like, I know that name. All right, so we've already done two subs. I don't know if there's a need to do another sub. Um... I do think I need to be at least a little more aggressive here. I don't know if I'll go all the way straight up to attacking, but let's see if we can go a positive and do something here.
Oh, they got an injury too, man. There's so many injuries today. Is it still raining out there? Can it say anything? Can we see that? I don't know if I can see that anywhere. It doesn't look like it's raining right now. Walker, right off the wall. Nothing going for it. We're just not getting any highlights this game. This has been a very terrible game for us. Come on, Blackshaw. Let's do something with this. Walker is going to get it over to uh, Mafuda. Mafuda is going to go over to Collins. Collins is going to get it into Whitehead, who's not going to do much with it except give it to one of the other guys. So that has kind of been the story of the day. Come on, Walker. Do something with it this time, buddy. He's going to get it up to... Is Gaffney going to be able to get to it? He's going to get to it, but there's nobody there for him to pass it to. Cross it to in the middle or anything. Blackshaw is going to come back for it. Going to give it over to Cool. Over to Mafuda. Going to get it over to Collins. He's going to kind of take a wild shot. Wide shot. Again, nothing going for it. All right. Um, I guess we're going to make one more sub here. They're going attacking? Really? That seems odd. Um, yeah, I don't know who to pull out at this point. Really. I guess we'll bring up Cool, maybe. He seems to be most exhausted at the moment. And honestly, at this point, we're just going to move up to attacking as well. Got to find some way to do something. Walker's going to get it. Nothing, although he did get a foul here. Uh, second yellow card. They're going to have a red card. I don't know. Can we do something with 15 minutes left and them having uh, less people out on the field? It doesn't look like it. Man, we are going through the clock like crazy. No more highlights coming up. I don't know. Maybe it was a mistake to play this formation. I, I don't know if we could have done much better with the other formation. Could have swapped to it, I suppose. I mean, the idea of this formation was to kind of keep them, the game a little bit closer, but it did not happen that way. Food is going to get over to Houghton, over to Walker. Going to get it all the way over to Blackshaw. He's going to be able to cross it somewhere. Nobody's there to really get it, though, or at least the other guys were in the way. Food is going to get it, though, back up to Collins, and that's going to go out of bounds. Five minutes of injury time. Probably not enough time to do much here. Walker's going to throw it in to the other team. Well... Blackshaw's going to be able to recover that. Mafuda over to Houghton. Pretty cool curve shot, but right off the top of the bar. We're about to get our second loss in a row by both of them by two goals. Not playing well, boys. I mean, it's not too late to do something in the season, but still definitely have our work cut out for us. Food is going to get up to Houghton. It's going to get it all the way up to Whitehead, maybe? Nope, nothing. Nothing going there. Should be the whistle soon. There it is. 2 nothing, guys, at home. I know we can play better than that. I mean, look, I expected Maidstone to play very well because they are a really good team, but I hoping we'd show up a little bit more than that. All right, guys. Come on. Let's get the passion back. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut there, I guess. Um, pretty short game because there just weren't that many highlights in this one. Uh, the next game you guys see will be Borham Wood. Next one we have uh, away, though, is Bromley, who is... Bromley, Bromley, Bromley. I just went over there, I'm sure. Why am I not seeing Bromley? Oh, <laughs> there's a scroll here. I was like, I'm confused. I do not see Bromley. Am I blind? No, they're way down here. They're, it actually scrolls down. They're second to last place. They haven't gotten a single win all season. If we can't get a win off this next game, uh, then we don't deserve to, to do much with this season. Come on, guys. So we got to get this win, but you guys will not see that. Hopefully, when I report back to you guys, you will see that win. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.